Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Europa Unisales 4 as Brandenburg, now Prussia, uh, leaders of the Trade League, Trade League, the Religious League of Protestants. Uh, we, in the last episode, managed to defend both France and Russia, so we now have some very solid allies, which I'm very excited about. We were a little vulnerable. Uh, we have an alliance with Bohemia, which is a good alliance. However, that alliance is going to break because we are on opposite sides of the League War. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, ugly. Uh, and the League War is uh, a lot of nations have set their uh, their flagpoles of where they stand. And uh, it's in our favor. It's uh, very definitely in our favor. So we just need to build up. And uh, let our uh, truces, uh, the truce was the main thing in our way right now. It would actually be a, uh, yeah, that was our lines gone, right? Yeah. Uh, it would actually be great to attack them now while we have a distinct advantage, but we need, where it is, there we go. So five years before we can declare the war. Five years before they can declare the war. That's fine. Gives us a little time to continue building up. We can build another six troops. I'm going to... Are we going to keep this as one army or are we going to split it up? Probably one army for this next war. So I'm going to build a couple more cavalry. I think I've talked about before, I don't really have a good feel for what the ratio of cavalry to infantry is. I know four kind of makes up the ideal uh, baseline of having cavalry. It's I think it's because it's the two on the flanks. Uh, if I remember right, which this is something I researched a long time ago. Uh, but there are advantages to having more cavalry as your army gets bigger and your ratios get bigger. Uh, Faw is just a really easy baseline to hang on to, especially because cavalry is expensive. Uh, but we'll just, we'll grab a couple more since we're going to keep our army big. And then we'll grab the rest, infantry. And now we just need our manpower to recover. It'd be really nice if we can get it to at least 50% before we go back to war. Uh, worst case scenario, we could, uh, you know, slacken standards, lose a little professionalism and gain some manpower. Why are you guys hiding? Oh, I repaired you and then completely forgot about you. My bad. Head back out, make sure return to port and war it goes. Wait, 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 what's going on? Uh, we must listen to the nobles, lose diplo power, gain an advisor. Oh, I'll tell them, no, 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 we can't, we can't, can't lose legitimacy right now. That's fine. A cheap diplo guy seems useful. Uh, I don't see him. He might be that guy, but no, that still seems expensive. Maybe I misread that. Regardless, I don't really want more advisors anyway, so that's fine. Uh, you know, I, oh, more people joined ours. I don't know who, but sweet. Look guys, four years and this goes down. Four years. We have our army. We have a really good general. It's only one star somehow, but his stats are good. So I'm not going to complain. Honestly, at this point, I might hang on to my money a little bit because, uh, you know, mercenaries during the, the League War, which is going to be a pretty big thing. Uh, people don't want to be conscripted. Uh, recruitment times go down. Stability. Yeah, that's fine. It's, don't build troops off. Ooh, I didn't see the uh, little skull. We're over our supply limit. Can Berlin handle us? Can anywhere handle us? Uh, what's the supply one? I don't remember what the icon looks like. Because it's none of those. My inability to find these because I'm impatient and I don't read them properly as I, you know, whatever. I'll hover. No, 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 no. Do we not have anywhere that can take out full sized army? Oh, actually, what we can do, build supply depot. Problem solved. Uh, clergy. Just costs a little military power and it ups the supply of an area. Which is great. 
Probably should have built him bullet now, whatever. It doesn't matter. New tech. We're already so far ahead in admin. I'm not going to spend it unless... I'm not going to spend it unless we get to our cap, which frankly we're very close to. We're very close to. Maybe I spend it. Just be very, very ahead of time. Allows armies to force march, allowing them to move faster for military power. That is so nice. Such a good ability. Uh, and manpower increase. Okay, that's fine. We're very, very far ahead. What is this? 19 years ahead of time in admin tech. We are technologically advanced. Fantastic. Again, not going to spend money. Why do we have unrest? Why do we have rebels? Why are you Catholic? I cannot convert you. Interesting. Territory, deployment, religious zeal. Why do you have religious zeal the other way? Someone converted me for some reason. There must be an event I clicked past. Well, uh, I'm just going to increase autonomy to 100% to let them be 100% on their own. So we don't have to think about it. I also might do that for these two because we can't get there to defend them. Right? Like, I would prefer to suppress their rebellion, but we can't get our troops here to do anything. So I'm just going to do that. We lose like 0 0.07 of income in exchange for not having to deal with a nightmare, which, which is fine. And now this re rebel uprising is going to go away. Because there's no support for it anymore. Problem 100% solved. Our legitimacy is slowly stabilizing, which is good. Holland's no longer in a peasant war. How lovely for you. Two years away from this war is not as easily in our favor as it was. I wonder who joined. Still, I mean, still way ahead, but... wonder if... Someone important's at war? How are you guys doing? You're not at war. You're not at war. You both are in good shape. Uh, this is what we're looking for. Leaders have better shock. Absolutely wonderful. And then we we'll go back to a little bit of patience because we're just two years out. Well, oh, not even that. Uh, can they turn lead into gold yet? Innovation. Lovely. And 79. Oh no, they failed. They had doomsday. Uh, it's a special thing for some of the uh, places. Yeah, these people in here. These nations. They have this interesting mechanic around doomsday where you have to like take a bunch of nations and... Uh, well, vassalize a bunch of nations to stop Doomsday and do a bunch of reforms to stop it developing as quickly. Very, very tricky to play over here. Portugal is doing great over here. Spain's doing great over here. Britain. Very jealous about all the colonizing happening. I think maybe in my next game I'll play someone and focus on colonizing. It's a fun game. I like doing the, the colon... Ooh, colonial game? Colonizing game? One or the other. So we do have half our manpower, which is roughly what I was looking for for when we do this. So we're in decent shape. I'm very curious how this will go down. It's such a... I mean, it's such a mess, but that's kind of the whole thing. It's such a mess. I'm curious if Austria is going to start this war on us. I kind of thought the truce would end there, but I guess it's probably a month within it, right? October, oh, so end of this year. That's fine. Yeah, you guys can have access. Uh, countries wish to hire. More tech, lovely. Up our Diplo. 
I could upgrade our ships, but I'm not going to bother at this point in time. Gunwalks fighting someone? Interesting. July. Glorious be Prussia. Yeah, that's right. Glory be us. September. October. Look at all those truces. <laughs> Who's at war with Poland? Bohemia? Oh, Poland attacked Bohemia. Interesting choice. At war with Bohemia, Saxony. So our allies are involved in this. Very tempting to jump into this. Oh, they're allied with Austria? Fascinating. Is Poland on? It's Poland's flag. They're not on that side. Look at our side versus their side. It's ridiculous. I also like that Austria is at war with Bohemia, and yet they are going to uh, be against each other in this war. Look at that, 100, almost 100, so 80k more troops, and it can't even fit in the manpower. The manpower is just crushed down because of how much more manpower we have. They have more cannons than us. We have more infantry and cavalry. What a fascinating war this is going to be. Do we just start this? Is this the time? Is this the moment? I'm really curious what this will do because Bohemia and Austria are at war with each other. So does it override that? Because that, that is my question right now. I, 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 I haven't done the trade league or the league war of more than... Well, I've been in it, but I've never really cared about it. Uh, so I'm just kind of curious because Bohemia and Austria are at war right now. So do we let them beat each other down for another year or two and then start the war? Or if we go to war with them now, are they still stuck in a war with each other resulting in chaos for them? Maybe let's give it a month or so. What's Russia up to? Russia is also at war. I would like Russia's war to be over. What's France up to? France is good. Uh, Ma truce is over. Oh, they got out of the war. Or oh, they never joined it, maybe. Both are possible. Russia is out of their war now. I think this is it. I think this is the time. I think we're going to just dive dive into this war. I think I'm going to start it. While we have uh, the advantage. It's going to be super interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop drilling. And let my morale recover. And then I'm going to do this. And then let's dive into it. Dive right in. No regrets, right? I, I, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stop overthinking it. There, I mean, it is clearly the numbers are on our side. You know, the concerning thing is, uh, you know, Spain beating up France. Kind of, a no, I kind of wish England would have joined us. But, you know, I guess they don't really have a stake in it. They don't care whose side wins. France is in good shape. Much better shape than Spain. So our problem is going to be Bohemia and Austria on our border right at the beginning with lots of troops. Right? Yeah, 32, 40. But Russia, 131. And you know what? Let's... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's start this. 
It's got to happen at one point. I want it to happen while our people are at peace, which they are, and their people are not. Which at least uh, one of them is. Which means Poland's in this war, even though Poland has no truck in the fight. No truck. Has no stake in the fight. How is Poland doing? Not great. So we would help them out. Okay, cool. Let's do this. The entire world is at war here. Look at all those active forts. Can we political? Think diplomacy? Yeah, see, you look at it like that, and it's not so bad. Red is enemies, green is allies. Like, that's not so bad. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, that's Spain. Spain owns the southern Italy, which is weird in of itself. <laughs> all the colonies are against us, basically. Cute. Okay. Let's dive dive into this war. Who do we want to target first? Slow it down. Was Denmark at war? Denmark is at in is in a war as well. Cool. Let's come uh take this out. They not in a fight. Oh oh they're exiled, so they're forced to retreat. Okay, that's fine. Basically, our goal here is to pick off as many little armies as we can. Exactly like this. We have little rebellions. Is that us that's rebelling? Nope, they're not involved in the war. Switzerland's on our side. Fighting rebels, which isn't super helpful. A lot of fights in there. Okay. This is an ally, so let's take that country. Because basically, our goal at this point is to just force out as many people one step at a time. We're going to invest. Do we want to invest in military points to make this faster? I do. As many as we can pull out of the war, as quickly as we can pull them out of the war, the better for everyone. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Look at that. Look at the armies. Spain is pushing in on France a lot, which is what I was worried about, because France is distracted everywhere. But that's okay. France is not an insignificant army. Oh, come on, guys. 47% and you couldn't win. We can convert a province, but I don't want to invest the money right now. We will come back to that. Oh. Austria, how rude. Okay, I want to pick off nations. I want to pull out individual nations just to lessen what's around. Uh, times of need. Uh, we do need some help managing our admin. Uh, our diplomats have surely learned from those in France. Perhaps we can bowl one of German's generals. We need more men for our army. Or we gain prestige. I'm tempted to take men. I'm going to ask her for manpower. We'll see what she does. 71, which is not taking this province. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we're going to come back and kill that army. I don't like them attacking our land. 71, we better take it. Come on. There we go. France gave us manpower. Fantastic. Let's get up here and take back our land. There's plenty of armies down there destroying things. I'm gonna try and get. Oh, I guess Russia's pushing in up there because Sweden and everything's in this war as well. Oh, did they run away? Okay, we'll take back our fort then. So, Tyr, who I think is the people. Well, they're not. 
thought it would be that nation. They want peace. Okay. I'm going to decline that. Mm, what are you going to pay as money? No. We're going to do my own. Okay. I don't know why am I clicking. Sue for peace. What can we pull from you? I could make you give up your land, but I don't want to. Uh, I can force you to change religions, which I would like to do. Uh, you wouldn't give me war reps. Would you give me some money? A little bit. You know what? A little bit helps. So you're forced to change religion, money, and I should get no aggressive expansion, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bam. That's on our side. Can we pull you out? Force religion. Four reps. Sweet. I don't need you to give anything to anyone. Can you just give me a little money on top of that? You give me all the money on top of that. I only have one thing, so not much else I want. Yeah. Okay. What other nations? What's going on? What can we pull out early? League probably doesn't want to be in the war. Anyone around you I want to make bigger? Not really. I don't want your land going to France. I don't want your land going anywhere else. Uh, I can't force them to change religion. That's annoying. That would have been good. Uh, I can't force you to be, I force you to give land to France. I don't really want to though. It forces you to give up claims. Release nations. Interesting. And now treaties make you smaller, but just kind of easier for France to eat you up. Now, I'm going to leave you the size you are. We're going to take war reps. I don't care about your claims. I don't care about any of that. We're going to force military access just because we're still at war around there. Eh, you know what? I don't even care about that. We'll just take the money. War reps. Yeah, that's fine. Just get you out of the war. How many troops do you have? Yeah, 10k soldiers that just suddenly aren't in the fight. Bam. Perfect. What else do we got up here? Friesland. You guys are not ready to leave. Okay, I think that is a good place to call this episode. Uh, not a bad start. Not a bad start to the to the league war. You know, not a, a guaranteed victory by any means, but I mean, I think it's pretty in our favor. Yeah, look at that. 324k versus 200. Uh, 57 versus 36. And 90 versus 80. Like, that's pretty pretty distinctly on our on our side of things so thank you everyone for watching again and in the next episode we'll clean up this war hope to see you then